Welcome to this new video. In this new video I want to show you in a quick and easy way some tips and tricks with the Huawei Mate Access that I have here as you can see. And uh, this device I have uh, since uh, the launch, almost since the launch, and uh, it's a very very good device and uh, the best foldable device still today I would say. You can see I have this access skeleton uh, bumper case on it to protect it, especially if I put it down here, it is now laying down on the bumper case, which is like a great protection for the device and worked so far very, very great. A few things that I noticed and that are a bit unique to foldable phones are a few things. You can see my MatePad Pro in the background. It's very good for uh, watching some videos if I have like the keyboard cover case here because it has a nice stand. But did you know that the Mate XS can also be used as a stand to watch some videos. So let me open up uh, YouTube here and what I will go in here is this one video for example. What I will do now is in this case you can see I have this button here to open up the device. I will press this button shortly and that's everything I do. Let go. And as you can see here if I don't open it up further where it will like go into this mode if I push it a little bit back you can see it will go into this mode where we stay like this. So I have like this nice little second screen here and while I'm working here on my um, PC I can then watch some uh, videos just by pressing here and as you can see here it will work then it will pretty much show you whatever you want you can interact with it and act as a stand and it also not only works for videos mostly I'll uh, use it for videos of course but what you can also do is just swipe up here and go to your screen and of course start something else like web browser or something like this uh, web browsing session. All you have to make sure is just for it to get into a landscape mode. And you can use the uh, application in landscape mode and then just open up and have a nice little set. You can see this is working landscape mode. Others uh, for some reason are not working right now but believe me this works in landscape mode as well usually. Uh, anyway so this works as a stand pretty nice and of course if you have this stand like um, you can also use this in different ways just like for example if you want to record something on your camera let's go into the camera here go into video mode what you can do is just stand let it stand up like this and now for Instagram at least if you have some Instagram stories or something like this you can just um, hit the record button here or you can for Instagram stories so have vertical videos or you can open it up even more and then when the second screen uh, gets turned on you can see here second screen is on uh, now it's on I can record start recording a video like this and now it is recording a video and I can just uh, blah 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 a little bit on this video and have a nice little stand um, for video recording if I want to do a podcast or something like this and I don't have a tripod or, or a selfie stick or something like this and uh, yeah I can just let it stand there and it is recording now a nice little video and I can start and stop the video by pressing the volume button which is also pretty nice and you can put it in landscape mode in a 90 degrees angle when you put it on a table and yeah you can use it without a selfie stick without a tripod as long as you have a flat surface to put it on very clever so you have the volume buttons there on the side and uh, those volume buttons allow you to easily start and stop the uh, video a nice little trick with these uh, buttons here is if I have the camera turned off and I uh, see something very interesting that I want to shoot just like now I just double press the power down button and it took a shot in this case my finger was in the way but you get the uh, message by the way also pretty nice you don't know what I'm watching um, so this one works as well it's called uh, ultra snapshot mode and if you go into camera settings here scroll a little bit down you have the ultra snapshot mode there and you can set it to either take a snapshot what I have set here right now or just open up the camera and then you can 
freely decide if you want to take a snapshot or not. Or can also turn it off if you don't want to. So just double pressing the power volume, uh, the volume down button when the screen is off will trigger this and it will show you the seconds that it took for taking the screenshot. So let's and ah, now it worked. And it, as you can see, it was uh, 0 0.3 seconds that it showed and it took a snapshot. Uh, the only downside of the snapshot is you can see it's not auto focusing. So this is more of a snapshot, really, as snapshot mode itself. Uh, when I'm in the camera, what you can see here, if I want to take a photo, for example, for someone, Instagram stories for your better half or something like this, mm, sometimes they complain after they, after they shot a photo and they're complaining that, yeah, I don't look like good or here, yeah, this is a bit, it looks like I'm too fat and so on. What you can do is, if you want to avoid this, is clicking on this little icon here, because if you activate this one, it will mirror what you can see on the back. So the uh, girlfriend or uh, whomever you are like photographing can give you tips on how to look like or can change the uh, look and feel to look a little bit better. So this is a very nice and handy tip. So don't forget it that you have this button if you uh, want to do also take a, sub a group selfie or something like this. You can use this as well and uh, works pretty nicely. And another tip uh, if I disable this one is um, uh, the second screen is using less power <laughs> than uh, this screen. So if you are really, 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 really uh, annoyed by power usage or you have really the batteries running out and you want to save a little bit of power, go to your camera app, switch the camera, it will switch to the back camera. You can see you have this space here used currently, but if you just swipe up here, it will go to your home screen. You can unlock uh, with the right thumb and now you have only this little one uh, showing up, switch to the other screen and you have this little screen. So you can use the second screen to run whatever you want to run. So basically all applications will run, like files here for example will run without any issues. And uh, 9 gag will run, hopefully not showing some naked women here. And uh, uh, this I can show you, my podcast will run as well. The only thing that you have to uh, not swipe from here, but the swipe gestures are working from here as well. So it's a bit, um, a bit of a different uh, way in working. And I think, let me, let me go here. Aha, uh -huh, this is working. Press and hold is not working for the multitasking. So multitasking is not working on this little screen. So this is the only downside of it. But in, uh, in a good way, this can, of course, uh, then um, save you a little bit of battery. And um, yeah. You have a small little screen, it's also a nice little gimmick to show and use this uh, phone in this mode instead of the big screen on the other side. Sometimes it might be useful. Um, because this dark part here is also a screen part, but it is dim, it is black most of the time. This is just a little bit white text here, this, which means that it will save you a little bit more energy on uh, your device itself. And of course, if you want to save energy, you can also go into the um, dark mode here where it is going basically dark and let me go here if I go into an application it will be in, in a darker mode which also will preserve a little bit more energy and the same goes for all the other applications as well so this is possible as well for the Mate XS and this is basically everything for this little tips and tricks for the uh, Mate XS uh, which I have running here since a few months I hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, you can write down in the comments section if you have some other tips and tricks, especially for this like hinge mechanism here. Uh, not to abuse it, but to use it in, in, in such a way, for example, I can also imagine like hanging it, having it hanging like this somewhere, like on a, on a table, piece of table like this. Uh, would not know why it would be useful, but if you have some other tips and tricks regarding the um, uh, screen on the Mate XS, and applications like multitasking applications, if you want to have multiple files open and so on, you can uh, write um, down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.